St. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 and following, What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose, and each will receive wages according to the labor of each. For we are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building. The Corinthian church was filled with people who looked at others from a position of competition. They wanted to have one up against their friends and other members of the church. And so they claimed this one-upmanship by identifying with Apollos or with Cephas or with Paul. But Paul understands a critical principle of effective leadership. Paul sees talented people, Apollos, Cephas, members of the Corinthian church, not as competitors, but as assets. Paul, in fact, sees in others gifts that he can then affirm, and without being threatened by that, assert his own gifts. I was thinking about this when I was looking at our pictorial directory. Oh, I know it's already out of date. But the amazing thing about the pictorial directory is when I look through it and I see the staff, I'm surrounded by some remarkably talented people. I'm glad for that. Frankly, they make me look a lot better than I really am. Leaders who understand that can surround themselves with gifted people, whether staff or within the church, key volunteers, leaders, those who can see things from a different perspective, those who can add value from the uniqueness of their own set of gifts. Oh, I think Competition is one of the unconfessed sins in the 21st century church. It's really easy for us to look at another congregation, perhaps a really big one, and see all that they're doing and assume we can't compete with them. Well, you shouldn't. You have your own key ministry. I have my own key ministry at St. Mark. We're not in competition with any Christian church. Our competition is in a world that is increasingly secularized, a world that is without confident belief. And within St. Mark, our programming is not competitive with one another. In fact, when one program grows, what we've noticed is another will often grow with it. When one leader excels, the whole church excels. Leaders understand that surrounding ourselves with gifted and talented people simply make for a more effective organization. And it's a lot more fun, too. Thank you for watching Insight. You can view the previous episode and please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below.